What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here and welcome to like the 50th return of OC Fights. <laughs> Anyways, for those who are new to this show, it's pretty simple. I take two characters created by you the viewers on my wiki and make them fight to see who would win in a battle to the death. I spend about a minute on each character describing their story while their powers and feats are displayed on screen and then I have them battle. If you'd like to submit an OC of your own, then click the link in the description and it'll take you to my wiki. There is a tutorial on the front page. With all that said, let's begin. This is Link Kara by Roymaster11. He was previously named Link Franz, and that's why his name will be displayed as such in the fight scene, because I finished editing it before he changed the name. And after we do this part, because he changed the name. But anyways, here he is. He didn't have a picture, so hopefully my recreation will suffice. It said he had brown hair, which usually combs over, a blue jacket with white sleeves, and gray jeans. Now, despite being only 14 years old, Link was a very skilled fighter and led his own team thanks to the help of his teacher, Mr. Granville. A team of what, you might ask? A team of element users. Link specializes in water, and while that is a common element, he has his own variation to it. With his water, Link is able to increase his own speed while slowing down his opponent's speed. He also has the ability to create tsunamis. However, in the increasing speed area, he does need to be careful. If he exerts himself too much, it'll break his own legs. But I'm pretty sure he's smart enough to know not to do that. Link is an excellent fighter. Long ago, there was a group of mystical beings called the Spectros who each controlled an element of the world. They all worked together to keep the harmony and balance in the land, but were soon betrayed by the Black Spectros. He had killed all the others, but was narrowly stopped by the Brown Spectros who performed a ritual, allowing all their powers to flourish throughout generations. And in the future generations, one of the ones to inherit these powers was Aaron Young. He was a typical loner who had a typical loner life, but eventually something strange started happening. His hair became darker and creatures began attacking him out of nowhere. He began to develop powers as well and before long he was informed of everything that was going on. He was trained to fight and placed on a team of other Spectros in order to stop a group of rogue Spectros. These rogue Spectros are using Spectros DNA in order to create powerful monsters so they can take over the world. And it's up to Aaron and his team to stop them. And the winner is Aaron Young. 
While their stats were pretty similar, it's their abilities that make the big difference. Aaron's Black Spectro's power gives him life energy manipulation, death manipulation, and even regenerative abilities. Not only does he have a wider arsenal of abilities, but all of these abilities combined make him an entirely new foe that Link has no idea how to face. Meanwhile, like it says in Link's own story, he manipulates water which is a very common ability, and something that nearly almost every elemental fighter has faced, including Aaron. Now it is true that Aaron is only at massively hypersonic speeds, while Link is massively hypersonic plus, which is still a huge difference. But that's literally his only advantage in this fight, and it's not enough to put Aaron down for good considering his insane regenerative abilities. So I guess it looks like Link is all washed up. The winner is Aaron Young.